so I think I'm right so far. I mean, I ain't mad at it. I know some landlords that done went and took the hot water tank and furnace out the house, so the tenant to leave. I know some landlords that done went and took all the windows out the house, so the tenant to leave. Well, that, I it's mean, if that's what you do to get them out. And I'm going to tap you three times the amount. Thanks. Now, the only hard part about that is the tenant has to prove that it was actually the landlord that came and took the stuff out the house because those landlords that I know did it, they ain't on Facebook bragging about it. <laughs> so he trespassed. Point. All right, Ponzi, give us the legal perspective. Now, Ponzi, you tell the legal way, don't listen to me. <laughs> no, no, no. You just communicated exactly. That's why I was just doing this. Okay. okay. <laughs> We, we can get down and, and, and believe me in a scenario like this. And I will say scenario, I'm a book in it with scenario hypo. The first thing I thought to myself is I want to see what kind of assets the landlord got because I'm about to tag him. I'm about to tag him, especially if he's in Detroit. And remember, I told you all the landlord tenant. Let me just make it plain. All the landlord tenant judges in 36 district are black women. OK, you, you do something like that if you want to. All right. Yeah. I'm coming in. Now, here's the deal. By the time, and if, even if they have an attorney, by the time I just did it, broke it down the way you just did, we're settling up anyways. And my client already got a number. You hear me? And so now mm -hmm. I'm talking back to the tenant going, I know you're all over the place. This is what's happening. No need to go. We can settle this thing up real quick. Where you stand, where you want to stay, what this costs, you know? So that's how I'm doing it. That's how I'm getting down. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's straight up that and a lot more. I won't even bore you with all the details. But the way that that just went, the way you rattled it off, that was what was going on checklist in my head. But that's and stupid. The the lawyer, I don't understand with all these law shows out here. And every time I don't went to court, the first thing they tell me don't post nothing on social media about nothing that, that's in pertaining to this case. Or if you feel that it's in pertaining to this case, that could jeopardize you. Even though you might be in the right, don't post nothing. Like the lawsuits I'm about to have for them subs that Ponzi about to help me on. I ain't said nothing about nothing for the last three well, years. Well, he or she, I, was, I'm, I want to presume he or she, whoever this landlord is, didn't give an address. They didn't give a name.